Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Tricky Biscuits, on how to fix an issue where zooming in on our model makes it disappear. Okay, so uh, here I have a scene from the Introduction to Maya 2011 course. And as we can see, everything looks all right here in our perspective viewport. I can select a piece of geometry, hit F to focus in on it, and everything appears to be working all right. But if we were to head into a split view with my front camera, uh, take a look at what happens when I try to focus in on this engine piece here in my front view. And we can see, really, uh, you can see, kind of see it partially there, and then it just kind of disappears. Now, the reason for this is actually because of the way that we have our clipping planes set up for this particular camera. So to take a look at that, uh, let's come in and select our camera. We can either use this icon here or go to View, Select Camera. And it'll select the current camera in this uh, viewport, which is our front camera. If we open up the attribute editor for this camera and come into the camera shape node, uh, right here under the camera attributes, we'll see our near clip plane and our far clip plane. Now, clipping planes are a great way to help limit what we can see in our viewport to a specific area of focus. This not only helps limit the computations that our graphics card has to perform uh, while we're moving around in our scene, but they can also play a major role if we're wanting to render out something like a depth pass. But if they're set really low, uh, we can have this effect where we can't see anything here in our viewport. So right now it's set to our far clip plane is set to 10, which is uh, 10 Maya units. So let's bump this up to something really high, like uh, maybe 10,000. And we can see when I do that, right away we're able to see everything here in our front viewport. So let's a look at how we can adjust our clipping planes to fix an issue where our model isn't visible in our viewports. If you want to learn some more workflow techniques in Maya, check out the Introduction to Maya 2011 course.